uh, uh, thumbnails are super important. They're like literally like packaging of your product. If your video is a product, how do you get people to buy it? You need to have an attractive packaging. There's no one's gonna pick it off the shelf. You wanna have like pictures on your thumbnail that are wild. That make people say, holy shit, what the, what the and, fuck, and not just what that. happened? And they gotta click on it. Welcome everybody back to another video. I've got my co-host Amish Patel on the call as always. What's up Amish? Yeah, yeah. What's up Habibi, how you doing? I'm doing good. Uh, and as you see, we, I have a different setup. Amish has usually, he has a green screen or blue screen. And I just got this green screen because today we're going to teach you how to make, you know, one of those cringe thumbnails out there, those clickbait thumbnails that people always make, like Graham Stephan, like, yeah, these weird expressions. What? What do you but mean? Here's the thing. Yeah, I mean, they work, right? They, at the end of the day, people click on them. And uh, for the longest time, I was avoiding doing that because I felt it was too cringe. But hey, we're going to try it out and see if it works and if it does we will share the results with you but in this video i'm just going to share with you both of us going to do some screenshots just for thumbnails and then we're also going to show you how to actually edit the thumbnail after you've taken the pictures so i literally just started a video on my uh, on my camera and i just got this brand new green screen and the links to all of this all of my lighting setup my green screen my camera i'm going to leave it in the description below if you want it but with that being said amish uh, you want to get started with the uh, the cringe? Hey man. Yeah, dude, you can't you can't cut corners on the thumbnail. Cut but corners. in general, you don't want to cut corners because thumbnails are like the most important thing. They're like a magazine cover. They're almost the most important part of the design of your YouTube video. Without the thumbnail, like you're not really going to get new viewers even. It's crazy. I mean, that's it it, it really is like a you know cuz you know when you see these gaudy magazine covers, it's like a girl in a bikini and the the lines are like five ways to drive him crazy six six tips to have the best sex of you know what i mean like those cosmo those covers it's like they have the the clickbait titles have been there and i'm talking about since i was a kid they have like a girl in a bikini and then like six clickbait titles on the sides and men's fitness too it's like a jacked guy which is a which is a great hook i guess you know what i mean it's like a nice cover something you could put on a thumbnail you know what i'm saying someone jacked and nudity or whatever. And then and then it's just line after line. So you almost want to think of thumbnails. One of the best things I saw about, about like how to good, make good thumbnails is to treat it like a magazine cover. You want that kind of hype, but only one topic. Yeah. Unlike a magazine cover that's selling like 25 articles, you basically have to have one, on top of your title being like clickbaity, whatever, like attention grabbing, you want a couple of words on your thumbnail and then you want to have like pictures on your thumbnail that are wild. That make people say, holy shit, what the, what the and, fuck, and not just what that, happened? And they got to click on it. But not just that, it, it, on magazines, you also learn uh, headline formulas because not just the pictures, but you see the headlines. Yeah. They're like, you know, it's, it's, they, they've got it, right? It's like classic. I mean, I've got a book over here, uh, Ogilvy book. It's right. called Confessions of an Advertising Man. But Ogilvy is like this original guy who did all these ads back in the day. I believe he did some of the biggest ad campaigns. Big player in the game, yeah. big, 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 big player in the game. Big man, he's a big man. But, uh, with, with that being said, yeah, uh, thumbnails are super important. They're like literally like your um, uh, your packaging of your product. If your video is a product, how do you get people to buy it? You need to have an attractive package. You know, there's no one's going to pick it off the shelf. And the shelf being the YouTube, YouTube suggested videos, search videos. There's so many videos out there on the shelf. Why should they pick your video? Yeah, no, that's basically it, it's just, it's almost the same science as like a cereal box. Yeah. You gotta have that. You gotta have that side that like it's gotta be eye catching. It's gotta have a good hook on it, stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, one of the things that you need to do though mm. is take good pictures. You want to have like yourself going wild in the pictures, like something crazy is gonna happen in the video, and that's kind of what we're doing right now. Uh, Anna and I are both about to take pictures. And, uh, you know, we've talked about a lot of people on, even on the show who take these wild pictures that make you think as a consumer, you like, you, you want to make a face in your thumbnail. And, and we're going to go through a couple of faces right now. You want to make your, a face in the thumbnail that makes the person scrolling through YouTube be like, what the fuck, what happened? What the fuck just happened? I got to click this. Holy yeah, cause shit. It's an, it's it's an emotional response. People, people respond to emotions at the end of the day. Yeah. Yeah. I think my favorite is PBD, Patrick Bet David. Shout out to Patrick, shout out to the king. Um, he he does a good thing where he makes it look in every thumbnail that he does uh, on his channel, Valley Tainment. Not on every thumbnail, but a lot of his thumbnails, he makes it look like he's gonna punch the guest in the face. 
he makes it look like he's like, it's like the guest is saying something. And like, especially if it's like a, a lefty, like he has a look like that, like, what? Like he's gonna hit him, hit him in the face. He's about to punch you. Yeah. He looks like he's about to punch punch the guest if he disagrees with them, or he looks like he's just morally outraged. Maybe like if sometimes he'll have like a mob guy, it'll be like FBI secrets revealed, and he's like, how how they're spending your tax? I don't know, whatever. But he and then he'll have a face like what? They did what? Yeah. So for his personality, he can be doing those uh, other Graham Stephan kind of expressions because it's just not his personality. I guess yeah. for maybe for us, maybe for you, you know, we're more like. creative kind of people so it's more fun that way rather than someone like super serious because that's just not us right? so you got to do something that also matches your brand and personality it's not just just because some persons it might not work for you if it, yeah. if it's not authentic to you it's not really you i mean i'm seeing a lot of guys do this cuck face as their thumbnail i don't know it's a lot i'm seeing a lot of men and like even graham stefan does this where he's just like like that yeah, and exactly yeah oh with his mouth and i fe- it feels aggressive to me and i'm not one of those guys that says hey no cuck face i'm not that kind of guy but that's it just seems like a lot and but that's a common look i find on thumbnails is when they just do that full cut that like their <laughs> mouth is wide open um so that's a common face like the shock look like the jaw i guess it's like a jaw drop I think Graham Stephan does a lot of jaw drops too. And then he does a lot of hands on his temples. He has like five that are like this. Not five, but like uh the way Graham Stephan I guess does his uh thumbnails and the way that everyone teaches you how to do your thumbnails is you take like your five emotions, maybe five most intense emotions, and you get the best shot you can and you want to you want to frame yourself towards the camera. One of the things they teach in casting because I used to actually do uh auditions at my house before COVID. Mm-hmm. Um And uh, one of the things that uh, even even uh, the 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 girl who played my wife on the kids TV show that I was on, she always used to teach us too or teach them. But I would I would be holding the camera, so I would learn this too. Where she's like, whatever you're doing, you take all of your acting in an audition, and you just put it like beside the camera. So like, mm-hmm. if you're doing an audition and there's two other characters in the scene, right? Mm-hmm. You're not gonna put a character over here because every time you talk to them, now you lost they lost you, right? You put the character right here beside the lens, like literally right beside the lens on one side. And then if there's another character, so you're talking to one character like this. They're on one side of the lens. And then if there's another character, you just go, yeah. You do that. You do that. Two characters. You, you do one here. You're, yeah. Like that's it. Because you do this, lost you. Got And it. It, they know that you're technical and you're a pro. So that's one of the things that you're going to find with taking the pictures for your thumbnails is you want to take that. emotion take that face and it's not going to feel natural but you got to find ways to cheat it right into the camera or like just off the camera so like let's just say i'm seeing a lot of thumbnails where like i'm trying to do this for my channel right now where i have osho which is like the the bhagwan guru he's yeah. up here i'm here and i just sent you these pictures this morning actually to your design team and he's up here i'm down here now from down here my instincts tell me that i should do this Like I could be like ah oh, ah oh, oh sure like whatever right but if I do this it's like I'm way off like that feels natural to me like look, to look way off that way but yeah. really if I if the if the lens is here and if I do like two degrees that way two degrees up and I go like you can cheat it so now if I go yeah. like what that looks like I'm looking way up in the corner like that yeah so you got to cheat your looks a little bit too that's another thing you know who else does a good job uh, Sean Cannell or Think Media he this is not like extreme expressions but he does a good job of taking a lot of pictures Rob Kelly does a very good job and he teaches this yeah so yeah yeah it's well, yeah, you don't have to go that extreme but you know yeah. somebody say, hey so you're you're the actor here you know way better than i am so how about you coach me through this cuz i'm not very expressive in general i'm like very stoic kind of person okay so now well let's get one cuck face out of you and here's the other thing the reason why i was talking about blocking towards one side is because in a lot of our thumbnails what we're going to have is you're going to have a lot of like thumbnails where you're talking about someone or you're talking to someone and you know what a lot of these guys do they always make it look like there's a beef or there's like a love you know like there's either beef or there's like this guy's a genius or like you know what i mean i love this guy i hate this guy whatever it is So you do want to learn to cheat one way. So let's just put uh your eye line. They call it an acting. We call it an eye line. Let's put one eye line beside the camera on the other side. So basically an eye line is like this. So beside the lens, 
Look, look, but look at the lens. Look directly into the lens. Okay. And now go to the left of the lens. Okay. And is there a spot on the wall, like right beside the lens? Um, not really, but I, I can focus on it. You can focus. Okay, so so imagine that's your spot, whatever that is. You can make it imaginary, but that's basically your spot now. Okay. And you want to just make all the like get mad. So imagine there's a person there, and get mad at them. Okay. Or, or what if I look to the right? Uh, sure, yeah, that's my, fine too. Because my screen fine is too, open. Yeah, because they can my flip it all screen as well. Open. I would, I would, yeah, so that's fine. Either do left or right. I would either say do left, right, do directly into the camera. It's almost like we have five emotions and then yeah. we have five places to look. So five emotions would be like anger. Fear. Yeah, fear. fear, anger. Those are the two big ones. That's what media company used to get people to watch news, right? Fear and yeah. anger. People are outraged or they're scared of something. Uh, disgust is a big one. Disgust, okay. Um, I feel like mind blown is a big one. Yeah. Um, and then you want, we have like laughing, something funny. And then yeah, yeah, you do laughing, but then you want to do a, you want to do a laughing like it's just funny, and then you want to do a laughing like you're laughing at them, like they're stupid. So it's um, it's basically the common emojis that we use, right? And we use yeah, smi we use smiley faces, we use. Uh, we use laughing faces, anger faces, uh, vomiting emoji, if that makes sense. So it's all the emojis. Yeah, right? yeah vomiting uh, is disgust. Also, we want to do some pointing. You know, let's say we want to point to a text or something. So think of what else can we do. Yeah, pointing or okay. uh, uh, maybe, um, you know, like maybe some two-handed points. Maybe, I don't know, it's it's uh, it's your fault. But so if you were directing me and having me do a bunch of this stuff, then... Go for it. Well, let's do let's do the emotions for some of these are anger, disgust, I'm sorry, anger, scared, angry, scared, disgusted, sad, you said? Sad um, or depressed. Laughing at, laughing with, anger, disgust, sad, scared, laughing at, laughing with. Fear, scared, scared of something. Yeah, scared I have. Oh, mind blown. Yeah, yeah, revelation. What about oh, uh, outrage. happy, blissful, like someone like meditating almost like peaceful. Uh, I mean, that's that, that would be useful for you if you're doing like a meditation video. Yeah, joy, like a happy revelation, sad revelation. All right, let's do it. Cool, cool, cool. Um, all right, let's go down the barrel. Let's do joy. I mean, let's just do joy. Actually, let's do one emotion at a time and let's do all the angles actually. Joy, I think is also good to do up to God. It makes sense for joy because you're like. <laughs> but don't look too high for God. Let me see your joy to God. That's great. That's perfect actually, yeah. Okay, now do joy as if like it's on the right. You look like you're like gonna die. You look like someone's killing you. Go for it. Yes, right, said that. All right, cool. Let's go to anger. Uh, who's pissing you off right now? Oh, these homeless people in California. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you guys. And then get mad at God now. Just be like, hey, what is this? Yeah, that's good. Put that higher though. Put your face higher. Do that? Face yeah, higher. Put your face higher. yeah, just do the same face, but higher. That's it. Now you're raging out. You're like, oh, raging out. So raging. Mad. Damn it. I'm pulling my hair out. <laughs> I don't have hair, but. <laughs> Hold it. <laughs> okay, that's great. Disgust cringe. Oh, wait, let's do a more serious angry, though. Let's okay. do an angry like uh, like a PBD like a. You're mad. Like what? Oh, do a rock. Do a rock. Yeah, the rock. The rock. Yeah. Can you do this? Not Individual really. eyebrows. I can do this one. This one kind of no. This one I can do. No, that's good. Really? Oh, really? 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 Wow. Um, yeah, disgust, cringe. Ew. Ew. Uh, uh, uh.
It's too yeah. much. <laughs> hey, but oh, do it for the thumbnail. It's, you got to sacrifice. <laughs> you want to overact on the thumbnail, definitely. Yeah, it's I like, mean, that, it, dude, it's something like cringe. If 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 it's just a freeze frame, they won't know unless you overact it. <laughs> you got to. Because if you don't overact it, it just looks like you're cranky or something. But it doesn't look like you're disgusted. Disgusted is like you got to go hard with it. Um, let's do sad. So maybe like a look like a crack. Oh, but yeah. let's do scared. Scared. Okay. Um. What's that? Scared? Okay. <laughs> yeah, but you gotta watch your face right there. You're blocking, you're blocking a little low. Okay. So do that again, but just lift your face up. Same thing. No, no, same hand, your hand in the same place, but your face is just a little low. So just be scared of like, do this or be scared of something like right over there. Like, no, okay. like right there, it's right there. You're like. <laughs> yeah, just block towards the camera a bit more. Yeah, that's good. Um, laughing at? <laughs> Let's do revelation outrage. We're just we found you found out you just found out something, but it's like it makes you mad. Like, that's the cuck face. I think we can use it for how to now. So like think of these last two as how to. So now let's do a useful how to. Okay. Because we're gonna do a lot of how to's. Okay. So we gotta do a how to like, oh, oh, oh. Interesting. Oh, that's bad. Just imagine a light bulb over your head. You're like, oh. 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 Yeah, that's good. I think we got him. That said, how about mind blown? Yeah, mind blown. Like Graham yeah. Chef and kind of. <laughs> All right, guys. So here we are in Photoshop. And even if you don't know how to use Photoshop or don't have it, you can easily Google something like it's called a background remover. Just Google it. There's plenty of tools available. There's also different apps you can use to do this. But for the sake of this example, because we use Photoshop, I'm just going to show you how we do it. Now, because we're using a green background, a green screen, it's relatively easy to remove the background. Uh, if you don't have a green screen, it might actually be better because now you don't have to deal with the green shadows that you can see here. But I recommend using a flat background like a white wall or something, some plain color that's easy for the software to identify that, hey, this is the foreground, this is the person and this is the background. And as you can see from my facial expression, it's extremely over exaggerated. I definitely don't ever use this expression in real life but hey it's part of the game in order to get those clicks you gotta focus on those clickbait thumbnails which is the title of this video so you want to come up with different expressions that that express a certain emotion so usually people like to use anger people like like to use fear they like to use sadness sometimes happiness excitement so depending on the topic of your video you want to convey some sort of emotion because at the end of the day people want to watch your video because of some emotion that it's going to create for them same thing with amish he's using a blue screen so we're just gonna crop him out from the background so that we can then use a common background for the both of us and as you can see his expression look at his eyes it's like very you know he looks extremely happy and what we're basically showing you right now is the exact thumbnail that you just clicked on with the facial expressions. We're not using a lot of text, just two words, an arrow sign for your mouse. And that should be good enough for anyone to create these thumbnails with nice facial expressions, showing some sort of emotion and basic text. So there you have it, guys. This is how you make these 
cringe or clickbait thumbnails as they call them start to finish and if you have any questions for me then make sure to leave a comment down below and let me know what you think thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time